Hello viewers, uh, I'm in Seoul and I'm lucky today to meet John Frankel, award-winning brewer, among many other things. This is one of his brews. Uh, this is uh, Omija. Correct. Um, which I've tasted and is lovely and flavorful. So many flavors in this. Very good. At least five. Uh, well, it, even <laughs> I think it exceeded yeah. my expectations. It's even more than that. Um, we've already been out drinking. We've had five kinds of alcohol already, Korean alcohol. But uh, I need I need to talk to you about brewing. Sure. So uh, I should look here, right? Absolutely. Okay. Good. So uh, well, so uh, let's let's talk about yeast. Okay. So what's your opinion on adding additional yeast to brews? Well, I'm a bit of a purist. Uh, okay, let me take a step back. If the final product is good, it's all good. However, I've never felt the need to do that, and I've never done it, and my final product is always fine. Now, I'm talking about traditional Korean brewing. Uh, when I'm back home, I'll make cider. Sometimes here I make wine, beer. Uh, that's a different thing, but if, if it's a traditional brew, I tend to use nuruk and, and not add uh, additional yeast. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. okay. And any other, uh, your brewing philosophy in general, how, is there... Uh, so again, if, uh, again, it's very personal. So if you're, if you're happy and your friends or customers are happy with the final product, that's really... Uh, the litmus test uh, but but for me I, I'm you know I, I'm a hobbyist I don't have a I don't have a microbrewery or a, or a bar or anything so I really only have to please myself uh, and generally other people seem to like what I brew but uh, I, I tend I mean I'm not traditional in the sense that well I'm using a gas flame for example you know I mean uh, I, I talk to my friends and, and, and fellow brewers about the, the, the kind of limits of tradition. Um, you can take things too far. I mean, I don't grow my own rice, for example. I mean, I, people demand, well, if you, don't, if you don't make your own nuruk, you're not doing traditional brewing. I make my own nuruk 25% of the time, and 75% of the time I purchase it from, from people I trust. Uh, and a lot of people are fine with that, but the people who who take issue with it, I just say, do you grow your own rice? And they're like, of course not. I'm like, well, okay. So these cut lines are arbitrary, and I arbitrarily decide to do a 25-75 on nuruk. I certainly am not going to be growing my own rice. Uh, but, but, you know, I think the, the more of it you can do yourself, uh, the, uh, um, and, and the more it really is home brewing, for me, not... Um, like I have friends who use homebrew recipes, but they have machines that wash their rice and machines that do this and machines that do that. And um, they save time and energy and they produce on a, on a larger volume. And, and you know, if, if you are doing this commercially, that's important. But for me, I guess my philosophy is keep it as traditional as possible while also not being a caveman. You know, I live, I live in a modern soul apartment. And so, you know, I use gas and I buy rice and, you know. Great, great. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, there's a being in Seoul has made me realize um, there's a you know I'm at the beginning of my brewing education, and uh, I think my viewers um, would you have any advice for beginning brewers that okay. might be watching? Okay. So two things. Jeff is not a beginner. He's humble. I've, I've been watching him for a long time, and he's he's intermediate, advanced brewer. But, but advice for true beginners is don't be afraid. Um, Jeff and I were talking earlier at dinner. Uh, this, is not, this is not um, an insult. This is actually a kind of praise of traditional Korean brewing is that it was done for hundreds of years with very 
minimal equipment, very low tech, uh, sort of open air kitchens. And, you know, um, the fire source was literally twigs and wood and leaves. And, you know, uh, nobody in Korea or outside of Korea, not, I don't know about nobody, but most people watching YouTube inside or outside Korea have better refrigeration, better sources of heat, you know, better control of temperature. So don't be afraid. Any recipe that's a traditional Korean recipe was executed successfully under worse conditions than we have today. So you, you can make wonderful uh, brews if you, if you just kind of commit to it and, and, and take the, the kind of commit the time and energy. Yeah. yeah. Well, that, that, okay, so that's a great, yeah. that's a great point. You can do it. You, you can brew your own Korean alcohol and, uh, and it's fun. We, we enjoy it. Oh yeah, absolutely. And it, it's been great. Uh, it's been great, been great talking with you, John. Yeah. And, uh, thank you very much. No, my Thanks pleasure. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Yeah. And that'll be perfect. Mm -hmm.